the simplest, smallest, easiest to execute action uh, that's going to give you the best result against that primary focus. Most people have a focus problem, not a strategy problem. And the simple reason for that is people don't have a mechanism, a system for analysing what they are focusing on and what they need to focus on. A lot of people talk about execution and taking action. And, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's those common buzzwords that we hear. But what underlies that is understanding what the priority should be and having a system for understanding what that priority should be. Um, I've just kicked off a, a brand new... Um, service a brand new program for for my clients and i've onboarded a, an awesome group of guys um all kind of similar to, to most of the guys that i train with so guys in their 30s or 40s uh, who are looking looking to get more energy and really trying to go to the, that next level um it's the new year so there's a lot of buzz around fitness there's a lot of people hitting resolutions and doing all that sort of stuff um, and sometimes it makes sense to be like that. Other times uh, can, you can get a little bit stuck by having that sort of attitude and the sustainability uh, isn't there because psychologically you're, you're kind of trying something new because it's it's time to try new things and there isn't an, an inherent kind of um, thing driving you forward, inherent um, pain that you're running from that's big enough. You're just kind of on the on the bandwagon, on, on the crest of, of, of the new year and, and kind of like new you. Um, but it's not the new you. It's the same you. I need to unpick what's going on to actually get the results. Um, I put together this video for two different reasons. One is I want to share with you uh, what I believe um, is the main reason people stumble when it comes to, or one of the main reasons why people stumble when it comes to actually taking action against their health and fitness. Um, and uh, secondly, uh, I'm starting to document what's going on in terms of my, my fitness business, uh, the coaching that I do and all those aspects. So um, it's kind of new to me and, and I'm kind of finding my way in this YouTube world. But, uh, you know, I'm doing it for my own benefit as much as hopefully the, the value that I'm adding to everyone that watches it. So we've got we've got a cohort of guys here, and I'm looking at the numbers now. Um, and I, what I do is get them to fill out a, a short form as they come on, and then we have a conversation. I've got a couple booked this afternoon, um, where we go through that form and understand why they scored themselves against the domains and and what they think the focus is versus what I'm hearing and and reading between and and having the kind of experience and insight to actually uh, challenge them against their own uh, beliefs and and kind of uh, stories. So it's interesting because if we look at there's there's three domains that I've asked them to pick for. So the, the the main insight really is having that focus, understanding what to focus on, and then building a strategy to 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 execute against that focus. Um, in in simple, that's it. Okay. So if you want to stop watching now, fair enough. <laughs> Go away. Find your one focus. Build a strategy around that focus. You'd be fine. However. Hopefully, I'll add a little bit more value by just going into detail. So when it comes to kind of my my kind of person that I tend to coach lots and lots, um, they they tend to have these three issues, um, which you know they either are aware of and they want to take action against, or they're unaware of and they think it's something else. So uh, body fat is an obvious one. So uh, one of the options was body fat, the other was energy, and the other was mobility. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, there's loads of other ones as well. I wanna get strong, I wanna be ripped, um, I wanna be able to run a marathon, uh, whatever it might be in your space, in your world at the moment, whatever fitness challenge you've got in the back of your mind, you're dreaming on for the last 30 years. Um, good, but fundamentally, we have to start somewhere and have to have a focus. And these are the three things that I think actually shift the needle the most and, and are worth focusing on as a, a level zero to level one, which is kind of where I am with my coaching. Okay, I'm not coaching elite, elite athletes in the whole um, and I'm not coaching guys that um, are looking to really specialize, okay, really specialize. This is guys that maybe were in shape, are not now um, and want to get to that that kind of breakthrough in, in at this stage in their life, um, a bit like myself, I guess. Um, and from that perspective, these three things are absolutely vital. Um, 
being as lean as possible, so the lowest body fat, uh, having energy kind of goes without saying, but I don't think people put a lot of thought into that. And I certainly don't hear a lot of buzz around it in terms of the, the fitness marketing that obviously I, I hear about all the time. Um, and that's why it's a key focus for me. Uh, and mobility. So uh, if you follow me over on Instagram, it's it's uh, at elemental underscore Nick, N-I-C-K. Lots of people always comment on some of the mobility bits that I put on there and it's funny because I don't necessarily think of myself as a mobility guy but what I think happens is we get to a stage in our life where we haven't perhaps focused on mobility at all and suddenly we get those aches and pains and we see someone else doing what we can't do and we think oh and that's what sticks in in that person's mind and whenever I speak to them face to face they're like oh yeah I saw your x y and z and I'm thinking god I posted that a year ago and I posted loads of other stuff about all sorts of uh, aspects of fit, health and fitness, nutrition, uh, fitness, cardiovascular fitness, strength, uh, whatever it might be. Um, but mobility is at the cornerstone of getting stronger, of feeling good, being pain free, all those things as well. So it's a it's a pillar for me and everything that I do in terms of the, the, the knowledge that I share and, and the coaching that I do. Um, so where do we think the scores were in terms of the group? Where do they lay? Uh, when we were looking at the different uh, those three different domains um, well it's kind of a split down the middle energy didn't really come up much a couple of guys put energy but on the whole it wasn't one people were focusing in on which I think is really interesting because without it you can't really get going you can't really get started um, but I, I just think it's not a it's not a buzzy thing really so and people are a, a bit of a loss as to how to generate energy uh, by the way as a side note um if uh, you're enjoying this uh, and you're interested in more energy, you can join my, my Facebook group. It's called Supercharged. Uh, and the focus of that is really trying to get people in a very short space of time to get more energy. It's totally free. You can jump in um, and see what you think. The link is below. Energy didn't come up. Mobility and body fat was the split. <laughs> um, so that that's kind of interesting and I think that tells its own story lots of the guys I speak to are kind of struggling maybe with old injuries or they're just feeling their age so they've hit 40 they've hit 45 even some of the guys I speak to have hit 35 and they're starting to get lower back issues um, knees aren't what they used to be shoulders those are the kind of the areas so uh, having that mobility and that good range of movement um, is, is a priority for those guys um, and, and I think it's a priority for pretty much everyone and I would say of all the training I do 50 60 percent of it is focused around good good mobility and, and the guys you know uh, Ben Patrick knees over toes or you know going further back Charles Poliquin if you didn't have good range of movement you weren't allowed to progress onto the harder lift and, and getting stronger and building the muscles um, that's kind of how they approach things and 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 if you're talking about avoiding injury, 100%, I agree with that kind of uh, thinking. Um, so it is a, is a massive factor. Uh, the body fat, obviously, we're coming out of the Christmas period. Everyone is overindulged and it's holding their hands up to say, I want to feel fresher, feel 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 better and, and kind of drop the fat. Uh, and that's obviously a, a big tagline as well. So people are always kind of looking to be as lean as possible. But very few people succeed in that. Um, and I'll, I'll make another uh, another one of these about why I think that might be the case. Uh, I'll link it below if, if I've made it and, and you're watching this a bit later on. Um, but yeah, there's there's some probably three or four key reasons why people aren't able to drop the fat and become as lean as possible. And as a side note, um, you might not be thinking you want to be that lean, but being lean and having low body fat percentage is by far all the clinical practice, all the years of, of experience I've got by far the key determinant. And that research backs this up 100 percent to being healthy in later life. OK, uh, and avoiding uh, lots of chronic diseases and, you know, more, more, more sort of current um, stuff that is 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 with us. The takeaways. Primary focus. One, you can only have one primary focus by definition. Um, and then build a strategy around that primary focus. It's the only way that I coach. And funnily enough, whatever else you think is, is important uh, will generally rise up with the tide of having that one single focus. Um, think really hard about the where you want to take things and where you want to get to and having that strategy built around that key. The way that I'm putting together the 
the program is designed around a, a, a sort of separate principle, which is the the simplest, smallest, easiest to execute action uh, that's going to give you the biggest result against that primary focus. And I think that's probably going to be uh, the, the 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 main focus for my next video, which will be um, how do I get people executing against that single focus? And maybe I'll make two, maybe I'll one about mobility and one about body fat and, and kind of nutrition. Um, and, and get those key takeaways uh, delivered to you guys as well um, hopefully you've enjoyed this I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you can tag someone and share it that's great if you listen to this on the podcast then continue to follow the journey and uh, I will continue to update you as to how this program comes together how it develops the feedback that I get and all the other components 